Growing rumors and other speculations allude to the Apple VR augmented reality or mixed reality headset. Though Apple hasn't made the product public, CEO Tim Cook has termed augmented reality as one of the very significant technologies and a field of particular interest. According to patent filings, Apple has been experimenting with virtual reality and augmented reality technologies for almost 20 years. However, as a result of the explosive growth of these technologies following the release of AR Kit, Apple's tinkering is becoming more serious and is anticipated to result in an AR or VR product. With lots of reports and speculation making the rounds regarding the Apple AR or VR headset, here's what you need to know in terms of its release date, design, possible price, and other relevant information. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this. And be sure to watch this video till the end. Without further ado, let's dive into it. It has been confirmed that Apple is working on at least two augmented reality projects, the first of which is a headset that will be available in 2023, and the second of which is a more stylish pair of glasses. It was unclear which would be released first because of the overlapping nature of the first two projects, but it is now obvious that an AR or VR headset will be released first, followed by augmented reality glasses, and the former is our focus for this video. It appears that the AR or VR headset won't be available until 2023. Reliable sources like Bloomberg's Mark Gurman and Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo have said that the headset will probably be released in 2023, with the glasses following in 2024 or 2025. The AR or VR headset that Apple is developing will be a standalone device with a potent A-series processor, enabling performance on par with Apple's Macs. It will have two chips inside that will enable it to manage virtual reality capabilities, execute sophisticated jobs, and operate independently of an iPhone or a Mac. The AR or VR headset will not be cheap because it represents a completely new product category that uses cutting-edge technology. It may cost more than $2,000, according to rumors. Bonkers, right? Yeah, I know. The Apple AR or VR headset appears to be at an advanced stage of development and is moving closer to launch after Apple showed the device to Apple board members in May. It may reportedly still be released in 2023. Apple's first headset will enable mixed reality technology which combines AR and VR features. Although augmented reality and virtual reality are related technologies, their potential uses differ considerably. Augmented reality refers to an altered image of the real world. Virtual reality, on the other hand, refers to a fully immersive encounter in a virtual world. In virtual reality experience, the outside world is mostly bypassed in favor of a wholly simulated one. While in augmented reality, virtual elements are superimposed over your visions of the outside world. An example of a hat-worn augmented reality device is Google Glass, which is now pretty much obsolete. Hat-worn virtual reality devices include the Oculus and PlayStation VR. Although Apple is working on both of these technologies, the initial versions will resemble the Oculus headset more than Google Glass. Virtual reality is solely centered on immersive content consumptions as it gives the wearer the impressions that they are truly experiencing what is happening in the simulated world through visual, tactile, and oral feedback. While virtual reality is currently associated with gaming, the technology can also re replicate real-world experiences for learning or training purposes. Although less thrilling because it is enhancing reality rather than replacing it, augmented reality doesn't depend on immersive content and has a wider range of potential uses. This technology is what Apple ultimately seems to be most interested in. Mixed reality, which Apple's headset will support, is a combination of AR and VR, a technology that has been used in Microsoft's HoloLens and other products. To create new settings, where physical and digital elements can be seen and interacted with simultaneously, mixed reality combines real-world content and virtual material. In reality, we don't know exactly what kind of experience Apple's headset will offer, but we can anticipate immersive games, more engaging FaceTime and chat, and fresh teaching resources. Design Fabrics and lightweight materials will be used in the headset to guarantee comfort. According to one description, it has interchangeable headbands and a sleek curving visor linked to the face via a mesh material. The design eliminates peripheral vision to stop light from entering the wearer's field of vision, and there will probably be an external visor for displaying graphics to others. According to reports, current headset prototypes weigh between 200 and 300 grams. However, if technological issues can be resolved, Apple hopes to decrease the final headset weight to between 100 and 200 grams, making it lighter than the current VR devices. Display 
The AR or VR headset is rumored to include two to three displays, two high-definition 4K micro OLED screens with up to 3,000 pixels per inch will be used. Apple is anticipated to use display modules from Sony, while it may include some Samsung OLED screens. A conventional OLED panel provided by LG Displays will serve as the AR or VR headset's external outer display. Apple is using pancake lenses to create a tiny and lightweight design. Pancake lenses cost more than Fresno lens technology, which is utilized in other VR headsets, but they will produce a considerably sleeker device. Cameras More than a dozen optical cameras will be included in the headset for tracking hand motions, mapping the environment, and projecting visual experiences. Human-like avatars with precise facial characteristics collected by the built-in cameras are reportedly one of the headset's standout features. According to reports, eight camera modules will be utilized for the user's see-through augmented reality experiences, and another six camera modules would be used for novel biometrics. Additionally, there will be one camera available for environmental monitoring. Eye-detecting cameras are reportedly going to enable users to read microscopic writing and see persons standing in front of and behind virtual objects. The headset will be able to accurately map the surface areas, corners, and sizes of rooms. Control Methods For the AR or VR headsets, Apple is experimenting with a set of input techniques such as eye tracking, hand gestures, and input from a wearable device that is connected to the headset. As per speculations, improved eye tracking technology will enable eye motions for controls and offer a natural visual experience that fluidly interacts with the surrounding environment. The eye tracking systems will have iris recognitions, which might be used as an authentication method. The headset will have voice control and compatibility for Siri commands, as well as for 3D sensing modules for spatially identifying hand motions and nearby objects. Additionally, it will be able to recognize skin and it might even be capable of observing facial expressions. Processors The AR or VR headset will have Mac-level M2 processors for unparalleled computational capacity inside a wearable device, with Apple adopting the same processors that first appeared in the MacBook Air. Due to the powerful processors, Apple is said to employ a 96-watt power adapter to charge the headset. The device will have a high-end primary processor and a lower-end processor for controlling the sensor-related functions. The newest TSMC technology found in one of these chips could be a 4 nanometer chip, while the other may be a 5 nanometer chip. The headset will have independent power and storage, so it won't need an iPhone or Mac to function. Naming According to trademark filings, Apple may choose to brand its upcoming mixed reality headset the Reality Pro or the Reality One, along with Reality Processor. Apple has also patented those names, so it appears that future product names may have a reality theme. Reality OS Operating System Reality Operating Systems or Reality OS is the name of the new operating system that is anticipated to run on the AR or VR headset. Apple's source code has been found to contain hints about the term ROS. Therefore, this is probably the name Apple will use. Gaming, streaming video, and video conferencing will be the main areas of the headset's app store which Apple plans to develop. It is a whole 3D digital world, according to Bloomberg, created for gaming, media consumption, and communication. There might be a VR FaceTime-like experience with emojis and other features, and Apple may be aiming to collaborate with media partners to generate content that can be viewed in VR. Wi-Fi 6E Wi-Fi 6E compatibility, the most recent Wi-Fi protocol will be available in Apple's future mixed reality headset. A high-end immersive experience with reliable wireless connectivity is reportedly something Apple plans to offer with Wi-Fi 6E. In addition to the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, Wi-Fi 6E adds the 6 GHz spectrum for increased bandwidth and reduced device interference. Wi-Fi 6E has all the advantages of Wi-Fi 6, but with this new spectrum, Wi-Fi 6E is more efficient. Pricing the headset's price could start at roughly $3,000, making it far more expensive than an iPhone. It will first be positioned as a tool for experts, content makers, and developers rather than average consumers. Apple has informed vendors that it anticipates sales of 7 to 10 million headsets within the first year of availability, although it only intends to sell one headset per day per retail location. Release date Due to certain development challenges, it's now looking like the earliest we might see the headset is late 2022, with 2023 being more probable. Apple was thought to be eyeing WWDC 2022 as the unfailing date for the AR or VR headset. According to DigiTimes, Apple completed crucial production testing in February 2022 for its AR or VR headset, ensuring that prototype units can adhere to Apple's design objectives and requirements. DigiTimes predicts that the headset will go into mass productions in August and September.
with a release scheduled for the end of the year. This prediction contradicts other rumors we've heard, which suggests that the headset will be delayed and would not be released until 2023. Whatever the case may be, I'm sure thousands, if not millions of people around the world cannot wait for this innovative masterpiece to be unveiled. That's it for this video, thank you for staying true. Don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to watch more videos like this. While you're here, click on one of the two other videos on your screen to watch. See you later!